No clues here. Oh no, the caterpillars are back. <gasps> that was fantastic. Keep on going. <laughs> A hurry up and build the next wall. We're getting there. Now, build the next wall. You're doing great. Let's move on to the next wall. Excellent. You're going to finish this in no time. <laughs> Choose a level. A clue. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. I must tell the others. But I can't hold it much longer, so let's keep going. I'm going to tell Daphne and Hoopo I have my clue. Must be time for lunch. See the toys? I made them myself. See the toys? I made them myself. See the toys? I made them myself. Ah! 
a spectacular job. I knew you could do it. Let's tell the others. I'll show you how to throw a pot. Digits, scrumptious, beak watery, feather licking, good. If that Carlos moved one thing out of place to put his precious clue in my room, I'll, I'll never buy him a birthday present again. Clues! We did it! Okay, let's try the box. If I were Carlos, where would I hide a clue? Hmm, of course I'm not Carlos, so it's going to be more difficult for me to find it. Oh, Carlos, you're such a dear for sending that box. Now, if I can only get it open. No, no clues, clues here. here. You're making too much noise. I'm trying to find clues. Ah, oh, the feathers on some birds. <laughs> Choose a level. Don't eat those numbers! Gotcha! Hurry! I can't hold him much longer! To find a clue in my beautiful room, it's going to be so difficult. There are so many places that rogue Carlos could have hidden it. No clues here. Keep looking till you find a clue. Hey! Oh! Hasn't anyone heard of wiping their webs? One clue down, two to go! I can taste that party bean dip already! Bean dip? Please. Two clues. You'd think that'd be enough for Carlos. Never, darling. He's a three clues kind of guy. Before you make barbecue sauce, you'll have to decide on the flavor. Whether you make sunflower, tomato, or peanut, you'll have to grow several crops. So get started. Thanks for helping out. Now he's eating everything in order, like he's supposed to. <laughs> Thanks for helping out. Now he's eating everything in order, like he's supposed to. <laughs> Thanks for helping out. Now he's eating everything in order, like he's supposed to. <laughs> Thanks for helping out. Now he's eating everything in order, like he's supposed to.
Aroma of sweaty clothes. Hmm. No clues here. Come back here. Don't eat those numbers. Gotcha. Hurry. I can't hold him much longer. Why did the elf cross the road? Uh, I don't know. Why? Cause it was the chicken's day off. Hello, hello. Where did you hide the clue? Hey, I've been looking for this. My dog had fleas, so I took him to the vet. What happened? He told me to feed him garlic. Now his bark is worse than his bite. <laughs> <laughs> To identify the location of a point on the grid, find the number below the point, 3, and the number to the left of the point, 4. The coordinates, 3, 4, identify the location of the point on the grid. Let me in. You're getting closer. Some of your clues are the medium clues. But I'm sorry to say, they're still not the hardest ones. Give it another try. Oh, that Carlos. <laughs> This is a number line showing 0 through 3. This is 1. This is 2. Let's look at all the tenths between 1 and 2. These are all the tenths between 1 and 2. This is 1 and 2 tenths. This is 1 and 3 tenths. Let's look at all the hundredths between 1 and 2 tenths and 1 and 3 tenths. These are all the hundredths between 1 and 2 tenths and one and three tenths. Ta-da! These are three rectangles showing the same area. The top one is divided into eight equal parts. The middle one is divided into four equal parts. And the bottom one is divided into two equal parts. One-eighth, two-eighths, or one-fourth, three-eighths, four-eighths, two-fourths, or one half. Five eighths, six eighths, or three fourths. Seven eighths, eight eighths, four fourths, or two halves. These fractions all represent one whole. Hey, it's Carlos. A divertice se adicto. Let the party begin! The first block shows two parts out of eight. That's a lesser number, so let's put it on the far left. To move it there, click the left arrow 
until the block is where you want it. Now click the down arrow and the block will drop into place. The next block shows six parts out of eight. Hmm, that's close to a hole. So let's put it on the far right. Click the right arrow and then the down arrow. Now we have one part out of eight. That's also a lesser number, so it should go on the far left. We can put it on top of the first block. And if we don't want to place a number, just click the trash to recycle it. Let's go back to the menu. Then you try. This will show you how to build a wall with whole numbers. If you selected another type of number, the game will look slightly different. The first block has a 7 on it. That's pretty small, so let's put it on the far left. To move it there, click the left arrow until the block is where you want it. Now click the down arrow and the block will drop into place. The next block has a 94 on it. Now that's close to 100, so let's put it on the far right. Click the right arrow, and then the down arrow. Now we have a 3. That's a lesser number, so it should go on the far left. On top of the 7. And if we don't want to place a number, just click the trash to recycle it. Let's go back to the menu, then you try. This rectangle is divided into eight equal parts. One of the parts is red. One eighth. There are eight equal parts. Two parts are red. Two eighths. There are eight equal parts. Three parts are red. Three eighths. There are eight equal parts. Four parts are red. Four eighths. There are eight equal parts. Five parts are red. Five eighths. There are eight equal parts. Six parts are red. Six eighths. There are eight equal parts. Seven parts are red. Seven eighths. There are eight equal parts. Eight parts are red. Eight eighths. There are eight equal parts. Zero parts are red. Zero eighths. I'll show you how to write the greatest number possible. Six is greater than half the digits on the spinner. I want to save the hundreds place for a greater number. If we put the six in the tens place, it is worth sixty. Eight is one of the greater numbers on the spinner. It is worth 800 if we put it in the hundreds place. Two, the strategy worked perfectly. We can put this two in the ones place. 862, that's the greatest number we can write with these three digits. If you want to add two numbers and get the greatest sum, you can use the same strategy. Place the greater numbers to take advantage of greater place values. 823 plus 970. The sum is 1,793. It's not the greatest sum we could get with these digits, but the strategy worked pretty well. I will try to place the digits so I can get the greatest difference. That means I need to get the greatest possible number on the top and the least possible number on the bottom. On my first three spins, I got a 9, a 6, and a 3. 9 and 6 are greater than most numbers on the spinner, so I put them in the top number. 3 is less than most numbers on the spinner, so I put it in the bottom number. Let's see what comes next. A 7. This should go in the top number. Let's put it in the hundreds place for 700.
Eight is another number that's greater than most numbers on the spinner. Two is less than most numbers on the spinner. It can go in the hundreds place of the bottom number. Another seven. I'd hoped for a lesser number, but at least it can go in the ones place. We have 9,768 minus 237. The difference between these two numbers is 9,531. That's pretty good. Can you hold it down, PK? I'm in the middle of something very important. Of course, Hoopo. Ah! PK, how do you expect me to plan Carlos's party with all this noise? I can think. Hoopo, you're getting your beak out of joint for no reason. No, I'm not. Relax. We can get ready for any party in ten minutes. I don't consider a party breaking out bean dip and serving punch from the bird bath. Hey, guys. What do you think of my new hat? Slick, huh? How's the party coming? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite getting it together yet. Well, don't worry. I have some wonderful ideas. I'm going to create a fabulous ice sculpture for the punch. Hoopo. I'm going to need a 10-ton block of ice. <laughs> Daphne, it's going to be sensational! I'll get it! Falcon Express, here you go! I wonder if it's from Carlos. Hello! It is, Carlos. It is. If you want a party, open this box. Not so fast, my feathered friends. First, you have to figure out the combination to the lock. Sure. Can't make it easy, can you, Carlos? Why would I want to do that? Come on, Hoopo. Have a little fun. Yeah, fun. How are we supposed to get this box open? There are clues in each of your rooms. Good luck finding them, my friends. <laughs> that Carlos. Instead of getting a party, we're getting a mystery. Come on, everybody. Let's all hurry. I'm flying off to my room and looking for clues. Oh, that Carlos. What a bird. I'm going to my room to see what clue Carlos hit there. <laughs> Smile, Hoopo. This will be fun. Come on. <laughs> Why can't he send a box like a normal bird? He always has to complicate everything. A mystery? Who needs a mystery?